Greetings and welcome. This is Sherry from Spiritual Magic Journey and this is your monthly tarot card reading predictions for my lovely beautiful Libras for the month of October, the spooky season. So for this month guys, I do have the Witch's Tarot, the Magical Spell Deck, postcards from Spirit that we'll be rounding it off with. But before we begin, let me quickly say thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to all my social media platforms. I appreciate each and every one of you. And now let's dive in and see what's going on with Libra. Some of you have birthdays this month. So happy birthday to you. I hope you get your wish. I'm going to take a sip of tea, ring my bell, ask my spirit team to step forward. And assist me with this reading. And we're going to see what's going on with our beautiful Libras. The month of October. So, happy spooky season everyone. Happy Solomon. Okay. We got the nine cups, a priestess, and the six of cups. Abundance, true love come to me, Rut row, and we've got psychic protection going on here. So what is going on this month for my beautiful Libras? Okay, I see a few different things going on here with our uh, beautiful Libras this month. Wow, I see you reminiscing. I see... I'm just going to tell you exactly what I feel and see with this reading. I see, for some of you, new love coming in that could possibly be more, um, end up being more on a deeper level. And I see people from the past coming back for some of you that, that could end up being more on a deeper level or they are... Let's say they are wanting more on a deeper level. So I see new people coming in. That could possibly be um, a deep uh, connection here with you if you're single. And well, it doesn't matter whether you're single or not. There's some people coming in from your past, and there's someone new coming in. So some of you are going to have people, exes, ex-husbands, ex-wives, ex-partners, whatever, coming back, wanting to rekindle. Some of you have got new uh, uh, possibly romantic relationships coming in here and wanting to, uh, that possibly could go deeper this month. So a lot of things are coming in here. Some of you are actually looking for true love come to me above this card that sometimes can mean marriage. So there could be someone there that possibly could be in up uh, as that deep romantic um marriage partner for some of you if that's what you're looking for but overall this is a beautiful month you've got this um deeper there's something for some of you it's going to be a deeper spiritual um intuition meaning wanting to go deep uh, wanting to be more connected wanting to learn how to um um just deeply connect with spirit so you're going to be on that road so there's many different things that i see here so listen and the guidance i can give you on that is listen to your intuition listen to your intuition this month um you do have the abundance card coming here and i feel like this abundance is on its way to you in many different forms abundance comes in many different forms 
my lovely Libras out there. Many different ways that it's coming in. We will see and feel that this month with that coming in. Now, if you are looking for someone, I did want to throw my two cents in there about how to um, be open to that. Is to be open to that, to the universe. Speak it to the universe. Write it in a letter. Be specific if you're looking for someone. I just want to throw that out there. Do a little ritual. Light a candle. Um, you know, we got, um, you know, full moon, new moon. I don't know if we have another eclipse coming in. Um, but uh, do that at night. Um, during a full moon or a new moon. Um, I also see... That there possibly could be some you meeting up with childhood friends coming back um, to revisit. Someone's coming back from your past or trying to get in. And I feel like for some of you, this is going to be an ex-partner or some or um, ex, um, you know, lover that may be coming back. For some of you, it's just going to be childhood friends trying to reach out. This deep nostalgia here that's going on for you this month. Uh, you're in those memories, and some of you are in those memories of when it was good, you know, of how easy things were and how good, how you had it made or something like that, that nostalgic is coming up. It's also a joyful card, so there's joy and happiness for you this month. There's abundance. You're coming in here with this psychic protection, too. Some of you are feeling you want to be more protected, that you need to watch your energy this month. And I tell, you know, everyone that to watch your energy. You maybe feel like you're getting those bad vibes from someone coming back because it's not going to, just because they come back into your life and want a romantic relationship, maybe it's not what you want. Maybe it's someone that's... um did you wrong and it's trying to come back into your life and you don't want that something is going on here that's making you uneasy and feel some bad vibes this month so make sure you're cleansing your energy uh, make sure you're not letting people drain your energy and make sure that you are putting up your shield and that's easy to do when you feel like you need to shield up before going out create a imaginary shield already in your your imagination here this is where magic comes from and this is where how you talk to spirit it always starts with the imagination um you uh, create your shield and i'm gonna give you a quick tutorial right fast uh, a few seconds um, say you want yours to be gold or you want yours to be in a brick of steel or, you know, whatever you want to make it out of. Go ahead and create it in your mind and that way when you go out, you can just say shield up and there it is. Your shield is up. So, so many different ways to do that. So, um, there may be that going on with you this month. But overall, I see a beautiful month for you guys. Very, um, low key. Um, like I said, you've got the... I feel like this abundance is coming in many ways. It could be even coming in the the mental, physical, emotional uh, abundance so where you're getting. And I think of that as peace, some type of peace, some, some type of um, knowing that all is well with certain things in your life. Um, so I feel that coming in with you. So let's go the card and know that also... Um, there's a higher power at play here. Definitely want to bring that up when I see the high priest. There's something going on that's a higher power that is at play. So if you have anything that's going on in your life and you're waiting for it or wanting something to happen, I'm telling you the divine timing. There's there's a higher guy that's at play. If it hasn't happened for you, there's um, something else at play that's a higher that's guiding it's guiding it for you, and they're asking you to trust, to trust that it's coming, that it's coming. Okay, there's also I feel like there's some type of news that's going to be coming to you guys um, that you're being. I don't know if it's a, for the job, for a home, for some kind of loan grant, even if it's just to get your car fixed or. Um, 
something crazy like that, but there's some news that's coming in for you guys, so pay attention and watch for that. And some of you are not expecting it, and some of you guys are expecting it. I will put that out there. It says, let's look at our beautiful um, postcard from Spirit. It says, Dear She, a rigid tree branch breaks under strong winds, yet flexible seaweed provides powerful ocean swells. Right now, we gently remind you that being flexible is a good choice when faced with life challenges. Surrender your fixed ideals to spirit. Who knows what is in your highest good and can deliver to you what you need in appropriate form. In the moment, rather than fighting or being too sure of your way, working out, be a little looser and allow for another outcome. Compromise can be the best way forward if you are to learn the ways of doing and seeing. Stay aware, curious, and teachable. Take life on life's terms. Your purpose may push you in a different direction, not on your map. Let it. Be so flexible that no storm can uproot you. In the end, you will still be rooted in a world in abundance, and you will indeed experience the beauty that is yours. We love you so much. So a beautiful message there for my beautiful Libras. Happy birthday to you guys that do have birthdays. I'm going to leave you with that. Blessings, my friends, and namaste.